I'm Tim Carter from AskTheBuilder.com and this is part two of the apron sink video. I want to show you it installed and more importantly how the sink is supported. Look at this. So here you see the apron sink. It's installed in that sink base cabinet and you know, of course there's the cabinets that run down that side and here's the dishwasher on the other side of the sink. Let me explain what happened. This sink cabinet before we started right here was all a solid piece of smooth wood and I had to mark and cut out that U-shaped slot that matches the apron sink. Very important, takes a little bit of time, but if you do your measurements correctly, you'll have no issues. But look at this. The sink is just kind of floating in midair. How is it supported? I'll show you. Look down here on the back. So right there, see that piece of plywood? That plywood extends completely underneath the sink and it goes completely side to side to both sides of the sink base cabinet. Now look under here. You can see that that plywood is supported by a 2x4 on either side of the sink base cabinet and that 2x4 is screwed through the sides of the sink base. It's very important that that piece of plywood is 3 quarters of an inch thick. I had to make cutouts for each of the sink strainers you can see that there and that is the support for the apron sink that's what keeps the apron sink from dropping down into the bottom of the cabinet and it's not hard to do you just have to take a few measurements cut that piece of plywood drop it in place and of course you just take the measurements and, and the height of that piece of plywood is a function of the height of the sink now look at this you can see in this view here's the top of the sink and the top of that sink is flush or just slightly below the level of the cabinets on either side of the dishwasher. That's very important. You don't want the sink to be higher than the cabinets on either side because if you use a stone countertop like we're going to do, that'll create a void on either side. And if somebody puts pressure on the countertop, it could crack it. So the little gap, in other words, I've actually got my sink just slightly below the level of the cabinets on either side and I'll caulk that with a nice beautiful black silicone caulk and you'll never even know that the cracks is there and of course it seals it so that water can't get you know underneath the countertop and cause rot problems down the road so installing an apron sink is really simple three quarter inch plywood make sure those two by fours are screwed securely with many screws to the sides of the sink base cabinet and your apron sink is not going to fall into the cabinet below or the basement uh, and you're not going to have any, any issues. I'm Tim Carter for AskTheBuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.